Thank you for tuning in to CW Hip Hop's podcast. I'm your host, DJ BVNC, a.k.a. Bank. Co-host here, I got Prism and Garky. It's yo, just yo. us three this week. Yo. We're going to be kind of recapping what the last two months and all these interviews have kind of uh, done for us as a station, as people. And we're just going to kind of talk about it all. Kind of freeform, just no written topics. Uh, but we'll, we'll kind of get right into it. But um, Prism, where can uh, the listener find you at? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Prism Rap, P R I Z M R A P. Uh, I also have a Facebook page, it's just Prism. You can also find my music on all music platforms as Perfect. Prism. Perfect. Garky, where can the listener find you at? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Garky Gaines, G A R A G A R K E G A I N Z. And you can find me on pretty much every other platform at just Garky, G A R K E. Yeah, thanks for tuning in today, guys. By yeah, the way, thank you. appreciate uh, it. I'm excited for this one. I've been waiting to get to talk to you guys. Not interviewing. I love the interviews, <laughs> no. but I want to talk to my homies again. This is kind of the warm up show we used to do. It's nice to be back to it and kind of regroup. And ah, it's it's nice to not have to prep for a show because that was a lot of work each week getting interview questions. Ty had really taken the ball on that one. I appreciated mm-hmm. the Instagram we deep still dives. Prepped though. We oh, I mean, we did prep for like the live show, yeah, the not live really the good. podcast, because I mean, we have so much shit to talk about in this podcast. I know. So it didn't necessarily need to prep, other than yeah, I got all the topics here. Songs are all intro, good, but yeah, no. Oh my god, it's been insane. It has been honestly. insane. We okay. Let's listeners. Let's let the listeners know how many artists do we interview these last few weeks? Wasn't it like eight in a row? Eight in a row. It was a lot, and I enjoyed yep. every one of them. Like, uh, Zachy P, JD, Vinny, Gut, Chiefy, LF, Wavy Lynn, LF, Wavy Lynn, Zildjian. Oh, was there another one? That's eight. Or that's there. eight right there, yeah. Um, yeah, we had a ton I of artists. I'm excited uh, that we got more people wanting to get in. Yep. Um, we got those. Yeah, lined Ace up. Wild wants to get a, get it on July 14th and get have him here, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, there's been a middle ground for a lot of people here like for um i think kid chiefy came from the dells um then we had gut from green bay a few people from milwaukee who had family here came up so it was kind of a nice central spot right in the center of the state for everyone i, I like that that it's kind of right off the freeway even for people it's not too much it's of a drive perfect, up yeah yeah it's it's no more than a couple hours yeah, Whereas, anyway. like, if we were way up north, it could be four to six. Or if we were in Milwaukee and we got someone from way up north, it'd be four to six. But, no. We're, we're right, right in the fucking middle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Central Wisconsin for all the hip-hop here. Um, yeah, I I really am excited to see where this goes. Uh, we're going to get kind of more of a schedule down for it. We were talking maybe every other week, um, maybe just two a month. Just something so it's not... Just overloading a couple, yeah. just a couple a month a couple of them just, just do a couple a month so even the listener doesn't have to like miss a week and miss a whole interview yeah i think it was good that we got a bunch done with right away not necessarily done with like it was a problem oh we're gonna like, invite a lot of them back yeah they were good people. yeah it was just it got us really in the mode of growing a lot because they were sharing it because they were gonna be here and like it was just it was a really good time for us to do that moving into the new studio and everything and getting a real feel for this place and it got on our asses about getting this place finished because yeah. we were having people in here and we're like sorry this isn't done sorry this ain't done like i know right. it's um, it's halfway finished but like by the time we got the last couple people in everything's been set up and it's been super nice in here and We've, and they've even compliment the place. Yeah. Like, like, it's not that great. It no, really, it like, looking around here, like, it ain't that great, guys. It but is, like, though. We have got a lot of compliments It's just, it's just on kind it. of a thing. You I know. know. It's just kind of, it's just like, okay, cool. It, I think it's different from some other studios I've seen, maybe. Like, some, um, I don't think there's many in Wisconsin that a lot of people have been to. But it looks, like people were saying, it looks professional. It's not just kind of... Uh, sloppy room that you also recording kind of thing like it's specifically for the radio show or studio time um, mm-hmm. i like the lights that we got around i i think i like the idea of having it go around just the uh, three squares and lights those up it adds a new feel for the room mm-hmm. uh, versus just the pure white <laughs> that this room yeah. was when yeah. we initially walked in um it was a uh, it was a lot of fun, though, talking to a lot of those artists. We're going to get a lot of them back. We also kind of want to do, like, special guests where we invite them in and do kind of a show or a podcast, like how we're going to do this week, where it's just talking about some hip-hop topics, uh, get their take on it, what they think about it, because it's kind of fun just, like, being in the entertainment scene. There's always something new to, like, talk about. It's It was kind of slow during COVID. I remember trying to get topics during COVID, and it was like, nothing is happening. <laughs> like, it's just post to yeah. fill your timeline really and it was just like i'm not talking about this or that and like it's still kind of that though there's not much that's like standing out but 
the tours are coming now. Like there's True. so every many shows buddies, are happening now. Everybody's yeah. announcing their tour. I know I'm gonna go broke if I go to every single one, so I, we gotta kind of pick a few of them. But I'm excited to go to them. Finally, finally, it feels like COVID's over. Uh, I know we have talks of getting shows going in the Wasa area here again, um, around the state. They're hopefully gonna be picking up more. We want to have CW Hip Hop be kind of that beacon. So if you want to follow us and know where a show's gonna be or when it's gonna be, you can just follow our socials. We can promote it for them, um, kind of like that. Just hip hop in Wisconsin social media. So everything you need to know about it, it's on one place. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um also so we had all these interviews. I mean, Garky, what was your favorite one out of all of them? Like if you had to choose. See, so it's going to be hard for that because Of course, of course. Well, the reason I got a reasoning behind it though. So the reason it's going to be hard is I'm going to be choosing between Vinny and Gut. And the reason I'm choosing between Vinny and Gut is because Vinny's going to be moving. Mm, He's moving yep. to Florida. That is true. And we got him in here like right away before he moved. So that was perfect. Oh, did he already move? Or is he? Yeah, just... he's in the process of it right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Damn, I missed it. But I mean, it. yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. exactly. That was the one week I was sick. <laughs> exactly, bro. But I don't know. Gut was super fun because he had so many good stories. Oh, and, like, yeah. He had he, like, great answers to every question. And it was just fun as fuck to hang out with him in general. So I think it's hard uh, to choose between those two, in my opinion. The one regret I have about the gut one is we did the podcast before and we almost had to cut him off because we're like, we have like the deadline of the six o'clock mm-hmm. show. Yeah, because he could have kept going. He could have, like easily. Oh, God, yeah. I wish we would have did it afterwards, but it's like also they came, I don't know. From Green Bay. Green so Bay it was, like it was a little early. Half. One of his uh, buddies who came with had to work in the morning, so we got it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think if we invite him again, we're doing that podcast afterwards. Oh, definitely. I, wanna, I just want to talk to him. Like, we don't have to cut exactly. it off. There's no timeline. Mm-hmm. Um, what about for you? Who was your favorite uh, bank? Uh, let's see. We had we had a lot of good interviews, so I feel bad picking one. But I'm going to say the one that I enjoyed talking to and just kind of discussing pretty much anything life and music related was Zildjian. Like, I, okay. I feel like I want to talk to him just off mic even, just like more on like his thoughts on life and music and all his kind of uh, thoughts on things, really. Like, he yeah. just seems like an interesting person to keeping communication with i know i can talk forever that's one thing that's about radio is i can just go and i feel like he's kind of the same way Mm -hmm. um with some things where he could just go off and yeah it gets get a different take on it like he's got a different perspective on a lot of things and i i respected that and i kind of want i'm intrigued Mm -hmm. what about you prism which which one did you like i'm caught between uh zacky p and uh wow we just chiefy no god no, 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 no. Zildjian? Oh, my God. No. Vinny. Vinny. Oh, Vinny, my God. Yes, yes Vinny. Zacky P or Vinny's? You're uh, a fake fan. Clearly, you like Zacky <laughs> P more. Well, no. I, I, had repeated, yeah. I had repeated it in my head 20 times, and then I forgot it. Sure. <laughs> I did, because I was like, oh, I know mine. But uh, Vinny's was fun, not only because of the interview and stuff, but, like, afterwards playing the Mario Kart and stuff. And he yeah, just... Yeah, for real. The way Nobody else took clicked. us up on Mario Kart. I know. The way he just clicked, though, was, like, he was meant to be here. And Zach, I mean, Zach, it just feels like I'm talking to a friend when he's here. Yeah, he's a homie. It's not necessarily, like, feeling like an interview. It's just talking to somebody that you enjoy the presence in the room, so... Now, you guys know Vinny a little more than me, and I don't want to, like, talk his personal business for why he's moving to Florida, but is he moving down there for music-related Probably, things? to be honest I'm, with you. Yeah, we're not sure, I wouldn't doubt but it. I wouldn't doubt it. Well, it'd be cool if Vinny went down there and kind of got into the scene, and then... Well, I talked we, to him already, and I was like, I was like, bro, like, you're not going to be a Wisconsin artist anymore, and he's like, no, man, I'm going to be repping Wisconsin when I'm down there, like, the whole time, like, I'm like, well, shit, get our name out there in Florida. He's like, I got you, I got you, and he's, he's like, yes, and whenever I come up to Wisconsin ever again... I'm coming to the studio and shit. Good. So he's, awesome. he's definitely still down. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool if like, like to hear that, he's though. getting shows in the, the foot in there. Maybe we could take a few Wisconsin artists down there and do a mm-hmm. Wisconsin show if he's going to be up in that. That's good to hear. Now, that actually would be cool as fuck. If that'd we, be cool. If, be we could, if we were making enough money to fly everybody down to Florida, or not, not everybody, like but like just, just company, get a van to go down there. Get a van, get a bus. You it'd, be, it'd be rough. I mean, a bus, I guess, maybe. maybe something where, yeah, we all not Where we can chill, but if we have a car, yeah. I feel like everybody's going to hate their lives Yes, we might not come out as friends We get down there. Not only that, yeah, we're gonna other. get we're gonna get down there, and they're, everybody's gonna be like, I don't even want to fucking do this shit anymore. <laughs> You're right, yeah. This fucking dumbass drive all the way here. 
Yeah, that's why I would just pay for everybody to fly. It'd be so much, so much easier and quicker, yeah, and so much more. What we could be easier, but yeah, that, that's money. Is that have people have to, be like, hey, if we get made, save if we, are, for this. if we are going to a show in Florida and bringing artists with us, we're probably making enough money by that time to fly them out there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> let's All be right, honest. That's fair. That's fair. What were you gonna say, Prism? Though you were kind of cut off there. Oh, frick. Um, <laughs> frick. I think that's a first I don't on the know. station. Yeah, probably <laughs> actually. Yeah, it's like PBS now. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh, shoot. Oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the CW Hip Hop Podcast. Yeah, where we just uh, warm up before the live show. <laughs> this, what you get is what you get. Gee, golly. And you don't throw a fit. And you don't throw a fit. You just accept And even it. if you do, we don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so now on to a more controversial topic. Who is your least favorite? No, I'm kidding. No, no. <laughs> I honestly don't, I don't know if I, I had one. a least favorite. I think favorite. this is my least favorite one. You don't like having no nuggets? Okay, I was going to say, I was like, you, you can get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to go. Prison and I will go back to old school CW oh, Hip Hop where it's just us two. Where we're just trying to ramble on for, <laughs> for an, hour. an hour. Just to make the hour fill. Fuck. Oh, God. It's so much easier with Simpler times, people. but God, it was too simple. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed all the interviews. Um, we're going to be getting some live shows, like concerts, coming up here. I know I've been in talks with some people. Sooner than later, I'm hoping. I mean, things seem to be opening up, so it's like, why not? And uh, we're going to be trying to get some of the CW Hip Hop artists plugged in there because they want to do more of a scheduled every month or so. So it's like, yep. we need to get new artists mm -hmm. in there. So it'd be really cool to be reaching out to the artists we have on here to then say, hey, come to Wasa for a podcast um, this week. And then if you want to stay or somewhere, you can. Or then we have the following show that weekend. So mm -hmm. we can kind of make it like a... a promotion for them to like hey come to my show i'm gonna be in Wasa this week good way to do it yeah uh the only thing is like are they gonna stay at a hotel or something that's the thing. So it's like if somebody's not from the area it might be a little hard but even still if they i mean there's certain paid, artists that i would it. definitely allow like crash on the couch but like there's people we don't know that's the thing. That... we've got a lot of artists that like we want to get to know but yeah we just don't know yet yeah we don't know them and sorry i don't trust people I have right not off the caught bat. your vibe yet mm -hmm. right yeah I, I need to know who you are before you're staying at my fucking place well that was one thing about getting out of my house I have to invite everybody over to my house and then they know <laughs> where I sleep I was like that's why it was so important for us to get out of there I mean we wanted to do interviews earlier than when we did I'm kind of glad we didn't I don't we think had, we were fully well in my set up in my place it, we had no we were Jim is L no, we were not set up there. Jidim is LF and Zachy P with Zildjian. And those were all super rough interviews. They were. We had a mic between them. And I remember the quality just thinking back. I was like, this was just not a good show. People said they liked it. Like, it was a good interview. But I was like, how'd you hear it? Like, yeah. I could barely hear it. It was just, it wasn't anything with them. It was just the mic setup was not there yet. No, I mean, we didn't have a nice table to sit around. We had this one desk in the corner and then we're trying to figure out what to do from there. And a stool. To and a, hold and a stool, stool for yeah. another microphone. Yeah. Oh As my Zach God. and Zill sit on the ground in three to pictures. five feet away from the mic. <laughs> yeah, it was it was rough in it, but you got to start somewhere. And we got out of there, got into this place. I've been loving every moment over here. Oh my God, I forget that I used to be sitting on the ground when we would do the pods, dude. Yeah. I would sit on the floor and that we would record that way. Yeah, we, we come a long way. Holy crap. And in how long? Like, we've been That's in this place why... how long? Four months? Yeah. Going on five? But it makes sense why when, like, Zach Zill and LF came in here, they're like, oh, my God, this is completely different from where True. you guys started. I didn't even think about it. Like, yeah, we were sitting on the floor, dude. We were sitting on the floor. Uh, <laughs> and then we had to, I remember when we went and bought this chair, it was the display because we needed a chair for <laughs> our, what was it, first interview? Yeah, we just didn't have And they're have like, oh, we don't have any on stock. And we're like, what about this one right here? There's no scuffs or anything on it. So, like, why can't we just have this one? Yeah. And, then and they're like, like, oh, yeah, yeah sure. Take it. <laughs> I'm like, it's already built. We don't have to put it together. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I would have been, been like, yo, it's the display, you know, maybe like 10% off on it. I think they did. <laughs> they gave us a little, gave bit, us a little of bit off. Yeah. Okay. So it, it was like, yeah, we'll definitely take the floor off. We model. just need a chair, and <laughs> not a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, not a lawn chair, not something that's like, Super shitty, but not something that's ridiculously expensive either. Like we got our expensive chairs, but that's kind of for us. Those are mine, yeah, and yours. Like, <laughs> you better not be sitting in my motherfucking chair. If, if you want to bring your own really nice chair in your vehicle, go feel the fuck free. ahead. Yeah, but <laughs> I ain't carrying it up the stairs. That's up to you, bro. <laughs> also, the chair we have here for you, it it's works. Really not bad. No, for an hour, like these chairs are more meant, I think, for long gaming sessions six for, to eight hours yeah and they like, they feel like recommended it. yeah i mean obviously you can do under that and be fine but like <laughs> yeah right uh 
Ty, you just got a chair recently. What'd you do with your other one? I was just curious. Just it's thinking, still in the, oh, still still in the office, there? yeah. So it's just it, chilling over in the office. Okay, that's now, good like, to know. Now, like, when Ethan comes over to to make beats or whatever, he can just chill in that chair. And he has a computer on the other desk. Can you kind of talk about that a little bit? You, you Okay, so for people who don't know, we have the studio here for, like, our making music and the radio show. And then Garky is in And then 10 feet room. out the door <laughs> to the right, there is another <laughs> office. Uh, and what have you been doing? That's just where my setup is. Yeah, what are you doing out of there? Uh, make all the social media posts, graphics, I stream, and then me and, uh, like I was saying, Ethan, another producer in Wisconsin who normally works with like Zay Rich and Martin. Mm -hmm. That's who they used to, he used to work with. Um, he just comes in and makes beats every once in a while. We were supposed to do it Tuesday, but he had to reschedule. Yeah. He is ridiculously talented at making God melodies. God damn, is he good at fucking? It's insane. Like, he just he just plays that piano like crazy, and it's mm -hmm. just like I just don't understand. That's one thing I want to work with. Like we've gotten the artists, uh, the like the rappers or the artists that like have the vocal part. But now I think uh, I want to try and like find some of the producers out of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So then we can pair. I just them feel up. like producers are like scared to send their shit in because it's like it's a beat and like we could technically use it, but yet like they don't want to get fucked over. It's it's True. not like a finished product yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's why mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of producers that like they know about us we know about them and we would like ask for beats but that's why we build that trust in. somehow yeah yeah and, and we would only throw on like a minute or it would be a snippet like yeah what well, we want like to do is advertise seconds. it yeah. yeah advertise it so then if a rapper like or an snippet, artist is yeah. listening they're like i vibe with that one i want to hear the rest and then like at the end we yell out hey here's this this is the producer go check out his actual page to buy the beat yeah we want to have like a little segment to where it's Promoting the producers of Wisconsin as well. And we can even tell the producers, like, hey, we don't need the whole thing. Just send us a yeah, snip. Yeah, the snip. Literally, Literally just the, the best the part best you want. The best 30 wanna... seconds you want. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be able to kind of ease that that worry. Because, yeah, I wouldn't want to send a whole beat in if it's... Yeah, and then expect I... us to cut it, the bright one. Like, give us your yeah. ad. Like, make it so it's your advertisement to <laughs> have promote it on CW Hip Hop and get it in front of the Wisconsin artists to use. Yeah. I'm excited to see that duo. Uh, there are some people that do that, but a lot of people buy the beats online, which is fine. That's kind yeah. of the new way to do it, but there's a lot of talent artists within Wisconsin, too. I mean, I know uh, some of Zach, some of JD, some of B+, uh, some of Dom. Know, they have they Microdose, have microdose mm -hmm. who they go through, which is a local artist, and those songs are honestly pretty good. Yeah. Local artist or local producer? He's well, a local producer yeah. and like they're lo local. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot local. of the beats for a lot of uh, artists we have on the station already. Mm hmm Okay. Um, that's that's the big one I know. Do you know any other ones? Just off hand, I guess. I, I mean, Booze Man. Booze Man. Oh, yeah, Booze Martin. Man. How can I forget him? Martin. Oh, Martin. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He does make his own beats as well. Uh, so yeah. I was saying that. Uh... I'll There's this other guy that I have on Snapchat. I, his name's just Dylan on Snapchat. I don't know who the, <laughs> really who he is, but I, he's from Wisconsin and he makes music and he's been like asking me shit about it and I've been giving him advice on FL. Oh, and then uh, Garky, he's he's on the come up. Oh yeah, he's he's one to watch out for. I uh, can't make melodies though, <laughs> <laughs> but you got a guy that does, so you're good. Yeah, uh, Ty, I was gonna ask you. So I remember when I was doing the social medias. At least in, in that time frame, we had to really go out and ask for people and like pitch our our business almost. Has it shifted to where like people are coming to us more often, or is it still we're really doing the outreach? I guess in terms just, of artists coming to us, artists yeah. are like just people curious and like reaching out to us versus us reaching out to them. I mean, it's kind of, I would say it's a level playing field. Is it? Yeah. So it's now even. I would say. Oh, that's good. That that's huge because I remember <laughs> say, like, we had we're to still, do all like, the I'm still reaching out to people, but yet I'm still getting people messaging me or us about it. Yeah. Really? Good. I, I like to hear that. Yeah, because I had no idea. I mean, I've kind of let you run the social media, and I got on there. We were talking about um, the radio head for a local radio station around here that we're trying to get in touch with. But mm -hmm. other than that, I haven't really been on the CW, other than following it when you post stuff. I really like the uh, graphic that you had for this week. That one... I was not expecting us to be in there. Like I was just no. Yeah, I was what I was expecting. I guess I don't know why. Well, I mean, it was it just the songs. If I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have put us there, it would have been blank as fuck right there. It would there would have been like nothing. So I kind of had to, and it kind of goes along with the, like the rest of them as well, considering we kept we're putting the picture of the artist on there now. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I suppose yeah, it's just us three talking this week and put a face. And that's why I put commentary with the team. Yeah, or from yeah. the team. And I like how you put uh like. The social media above our names too of like what our ads are on instagram mm -hmm. it, it just looks super clean mm -hmm. the way you did it was 
perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, your your graphic designs have really taken a lot of this to another level. I love looking at them and seeing them improve, like even from the beginning ones and like you change the design. We've had a lot of design changes with them. When I look back at the beginning better. ones, I hate them. I'm sure you do. They're fucking horrible. Oh, see, I like them. Uh, they, they were, they, they they were bad. They're still like good. Trash. But your ones now are, you, like, you just keep getting better the more of them you do. Yeah. You've been, I don't know. I have never been disappointed in your graphic design uh, for our station at all. Yeah, you're very consistent with them. <laughs> um, and you've also been doing a lot of graphics for the artists themselves for, like, um, I know there was a concert at one point and then cover arts. Uh is there one that you really enjoyed working on that you want somebody to go take a look at as an example to see if they wanted to work with you at all for a graphic des graphic design? Co-op. Co-op? Oh, dude. Or when Zacky Peace Can't You See comes out. I did like that one a lot. I really liked the uh, co-op one. Um, <laughs> that you really, you, you hand drew that one? Right? No, I did that in fucking Photoshop. Oh, you Photoshopped I everything. Sh I should not have been able to do that in Photoshop. <laughs> he, he, that took me so goddamn he long. He drew to do. it with a mouse. I on literally Photoshop. did it all with a mouse, with just the, with just the like oh, the, yeah. with like the square tool. I, would, I, I literally just did that and just copy and pasted That's ones. Nuts. I didn't realize that. Yeah, if I would have had Procreate before I before I did that, it would have been way easier. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah. The pen on there with the iPad, dude, you've taken that to another fucking level. I oh, love well, to that see. That just took me to another level. In I, I just want to say the funny story of when he first showed me it when it was done. And I went, meh, it's yeah, okay. He, he was in bed. He was in bed. And he was, <laughs> I was and he's so, like, I was he, waking up at 2 a.m. for work and I was not, I was like, I bro, was what are you talking about? Mood. That's not good. Like, really? And I just I'm like, spent fucking like 24 hours making this. He comes out excited as fuck, shows it to me. And he's like, what do you think about it? I didn't even take a... <laughs> And I'm like, eh, it's okay, right as I'm leaving for work. <laughs> and then uh, later in the day, I looked at it again because he sent it to us via email. And I'm like, God, I was an asshole this morning. And I messaged him like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I actually really liked the cover art. I was just not having it this morning. Yeah. Because I was getting up for work at 2 a.m. Who wants to be up at work for two at 2 a.m.? Like, no. no. Mm -mm. I mean, you signed up for the job, so I would say you want to be up at work. I don't want to be, but I get paid well. <laughs> the job that pays the bills. So, but yeah, no, that story just... Every time I look at that cover art, I just think of how I just was a total dick to him when he first got it done, and I'm like, why did I do that? Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I liked it right off the bat. I just want to say that. <laughs> like, as soon as he's done, I'm no, like, yeah, I, I fucking love that cover art. You did an amazing job on it. <laughs> I'm just surprised on, like, I had before and after pictures, like, when it just started. How, like, I had the vision in my head already, but it almost turned out better than the vision that I had in my head. And it's just weird. Mm -hmm. But that's the best. That's what I like about creating and about graphic design. Because yeah. you pretty much can make whatever the hell you want. And if you have the vision in your head, not only is it going to turn out to be that vision, but it's going to be better. Mm -hmm. I, well, do that. I do what I want. It's going to keep the cord up. That's why I hit it like that. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I felt about uh, just making music as well. Of just like you have that vision of what you like think you want it to sound like. But as you go through the process, it does change like significantly the process and it's just it's beautiful because it always ends up better than what you initially thought it was going to be as long as you put the work in for it i've had a couple songs definitely that <laughs> i went through recorded them mixed them and everything and i was like yep this just ain't it but i've also had some that came out on the end of things that was a hundred times better than i ever thought i would have made so so now, kind of shifting it from Garky's graphic design over to the studio side, you've been doing a lot of mixing and making music within the studio here. Yeah. How many how many artists have you worked with now? And I've worked with three outside of like our normal group. Right. Uh, we have our our upstairs neighbor. I can't remember his name. Can't remember his name ever. Sorry, homie. Literally <laughs> ever. Neighbor upstairs. Super neighbor. nice guy. Oh yeah, I love him. He's he's he, fun. He's great to talk to and everything. And uh, working with him, he his thought process on music is very interesting uh, i'm not going to go into depth about it no but, that's fine uh and then i've worked with uh zay rich uh i had him in he he just spit like uh eight bar verse and uh other than that we didn't do a crazy amount because we were just getting to know him and stuff and mm -hmm. just having him in here and then i had uh, zay hazy which is spelled x-a-e hazy uh and me and him got a full song 
put together that's actually out now on his youtube and soundcloud called intoxicated called intoxicated uh for our first song together i mean it turned out pretty good i think it turned out pretty damn good i i definitely want to see where we go as a team working together because i think he has a lot more potential in vocal range than he gives himself credit for uh he, he really has that pop punk vibe going for him and like he has the voice to pull it off but he's not pushing himself to do that mm -hmm. he's trying to take this almost dark hip-hop route that i'm mean, like he does a good job at it but i think he would do this other lane better so i think i might talk to him about it a little bit and be like hey let's try and work more on some of this stuff because i think this will gain you more like attention and traction you're going to make better music and you're going to see the results you're looking for um and I, it, it's been nice having new people in here uh, and working with new voices and trying to help them better their sound and be like, hey, why don't you do this into the mic? Uh, with Zay Hazy, he had his hook on there and I was like, give me a little bit of a like rough sounding voice of it. Like put some gristle in there. And he's like, okay. And then I'm like, just trust me on this. like. I, I have a vision for how it should sound and like your your normal vocal sounds a little too soft for what you're going for so I'm like put a little gristle to it make it sound a little dirty and uh, I think it made it turn out a lot better than it would have otherwise you're talking about like a layer right mm -hmm. yeah yeah I added it as a layer in there uh, and we kind of took a more approach on that hook part of making it sound more of like multiple people instead mm -hmm. of just him he he came up with that vision like halfway through it he was like what if we do it this way because like then it'll get a crowd going if i ever do it live because it already sounds like other people are singing along to it yeah and All i'm right. like that's a good idea and so we went we just ran with it just working with new people has been really fun uh i'm excited to work with more the first session uh for people who are listening in who might be artists uh the first session is free uh, we get one song done in that first session, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see your mixing kind of improve even for your songs by working with other people. I think mm -hmm. it's very beneficial for your music as a whole too. Um, I know for the studio, we're kind of getting close to the end of the podcast here. I just want to let the listener know if you've experienced any skipping while listening on your phone, we know about the problem. Uh, we're looking into how to fix it. Uh, might just go to a new service, something that's um, a little closer to home right now or something over overseas. So we uh, are in the works with that. I know there's going to be some changes to... Um, the music uh, that is being rotated, we're updating the Fired Five to have more um, more current songs in there. We we haven't touched in a while just because we've been growing so much. So we uh, we're gonna have a lot of changes with the station here. Uh, if you're an artist listening, make sure you keep sending your music in. We want to have everybody um, get on the station. If you're from Wisconsin, making hip hop, rap, R and B, um, send it in. If you're an artist who's kind of not sure if it'll fit, we'll let you know. But you we actually have a new email for that as well. Oh, it's yes, just yes, we sub that. submissions at cwhiphop.com. It's no longer cwhiphoprmb at gmail. So submissions at cwhiphop.com is where you guys can send in your music. Again, if you're an artist that's already on the station, we still want your new music. Go ahead and send it in there. Uh, if you know anybody, go ahead and have them send it in if they do hip-hop. Um, otherwise, another big change is going to be starting August 1st, we're going to be changing the live show time to 7 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. Yeah, uh, oh, we're going to yeah. kind of give a month uh, just to kind of get everything switched over. We don't want to do it like right away. Kind of give the listener some advance to... Yeah, we got to promo it and everything yeah, promo so it. people can people know. We're hoping it'll bring in more listeners because it's not like right after work, dinner time. It'll be a little later. I know I won't have to work every weekend. Um, I'll be able to work till 5 and then be here by 7. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping it'll kind of make everything smoother and it'll help us grow more. If it doesn't work, I mean, we can always go back. But I think it'll be for better. Uh, only one way to find out is if we try it. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to add? Because, yeah, we're coming close to the end here. Um, uh, just the thank show. you for tuning in. Uh, if you've listened all the way to the end, we appreciate you. Yeah, uh, we're just rambling. We appreciate you making it to the end here, though. And thanks for the continued support on just everything in general. Yeah, um, socials have we been see really popping. I mean, they the last couple of weeks, they just haven't been as popping just because I've been somewhat slacking just with all the work that I have to do. There's but, like, do. it's just, you know, it's still, we're still getting the support. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we just, it's very, we're very thankful for that. Yeah, we appreciate our community a lot yeah so. it's been amazing 
how many people have actually come out to support it and even people that we knew in real life coming and saying hey you guys are doing something cool and great here so yeah we uh, don't want to toot our own horn but i think uh this is only going to go toot, up here toot. <laughs> all right well we're going to be doing the live show here you can listen to the podcast <laughs> on pretty much anywhere you get your podcast if you're already listening if you're listening on the cwhiphop.com you can listen anywhere on demand spotify apple podcasts uh, soundcloud, SoundCloud. Um, yeah any anything you guys want to end all right no. prism where can we find you at you can find me on instagram at prism rap p-r-i-z-m-r-a-p and on facebook as prism uh where can we find you garky you sounded like a crackhead by doing yeah that, that was way. a little weird you but... sounded real crackheady sorry uh <laughs> you guys can find me on instagram at garky gains g-a-r-k-e-g-a-i-n-z and you guys can pretty much on any other platform you know youtube twitter everything like that just just garky and you can find me on Instagram at BVNC95 and then Facebook at BVNC, Twitter as well, BVNC. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CW Hip Hop. Uh, we do have other social medias, uh, I think TikTok, Snapchat. Snapchat um, I think those are the two that we've kind of added in and mm-hmm. worked more on. I know we have uh, Reddit going. I'm trying to keep that up to date. It's just <clears> slowly <throat> building that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to get a live discussion thing going. So when we're doing, we got to get show, the Discord. Discord, up, yeah. Uh, it's in the works. We're improving it. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback to make this better each. Keep and every the week. feedback coming. We Please. appreciate all of it. All right. Thank have a good rest of your night, in. everybody. Have a good night. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace. Peace.